Today I have this fidget spinner here and I recently 3D printed it and have some and I have some bone red bearings to go with it. Really good bearings. Um they're about they're 11.65 a box right now or for one spinner. So it's about 550 a spinner pretty much. So today I'm going to be making one. This took about um, one hour and six minutes to 3D print at 90% density. So let's sand it. And press them. I just have my simple vise on the side of my workbench. Place the bearing as accurately as possible. Make sure it's the direction you want it, because you can't change it very easily without damaging the spinner later on. You should hear a little bit of popping. Pretty quiet though. If it's if it's being really stubborn with you, you'll crack it, which is really loud. Yeah, that's pretty good. So from here on, you just want to kind of center the bearing if you look at it from the side angle that will help you get the right thought process of pressing it in completely and evenly and you will hear lots of popping when you're pressing these in It helps if you can get a metal vise, because with the wooden ones, you will actually make little rings in the wood, which make it hard to precisely press it. That's pretty even. So, I have completed the spinner, pressed all the bearings in, and it runs very, very smoothly. I also printed off some of these little, little thumb pieces, pretty simple pieces, and just press those in there. Okay, so I got them, the sides pressed in, and it's very, very easy to maneuver now. It's going to take a little bit of time to wear the bearings in to get them at top speed, but for now it's a really, really nice spinner. Very, very smooth. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more epic content like this. And thank you.